Hello everyone, today we'll be doing a Monero how to create a StageNet wallet. Now I'm making this video because I can't really, there's a bug with the with the main GUI so that's why I have to make this video and I have to use the command line. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure that this location, which is the the installation location for the Monero binaries is added to your path environment variable. It's actually optional, but it'll help you with your command when you're using the command line. But other than that, let's create the wallet folder. So how the command line works is that when you create a wallet, it creates it in the directory you're in and not this directory. So you have to go here and then let's create a wallet. So I'll name it StageNet underscore toot for tutorial. This is the one I'll be using when I'm developing my own thing, but this is the one I'll be using here because I don't care about it. So after you've done that, you want to open it and you want to open the terminal here. So for me, it's Windows terminal, but for you, you can probably do CMD as well. Now, I forgot to mention, but how you create a folder here is you can just do control shift N in that in the wallets folder. And then yeah, you can create it. And the wallets folder is basically just percent home path percent slash documents slash Monero slash wallets. And now that we've gone here, we want to use the Monero wallet CLI. And you'll see that that is accessible. You want to do stage net and then you want to supply the the node which is daemon address and you can get the node from this thing this website called monero.fail so let's do that I'm using what did I use I used one of these before I'll I'll take a look here so I'm using this thing called I was using this Monero node called stagenet.xmr.tw so that's the one I'll be using and if you look there you want you have to supply untrusted daemon okay and remember it's in the folder of the well and I'm making it here so that I can open it in the GUI after I've created the wallet so I create this like this then I do stage net toot, then you do Y, enter a password, so just do that, enter a password, confirm the password, and then it'll take about five minutes after you get your seed. So this is how you get your seed for your stage net wallet. Over here, I don't really care if you guys can see it because I'm not gonna be using it for anything. And when I open my my Monero GUI, I will do that now, but you just wait for this to refresh and then you just close the wallet, open, open up your GUI, click open a wallet from file, and you'll see that these StageNet wallets have StageNet underneath them, but if you create a wallet from fresh over here, look, advanced options StageNet, but if you do this and uh, Keep doing it. What if I set no password? If you keep doing it, even here, you'll see that it works now, but it wasn't working before. And uh, you create the wallet like that, and yeah. So anyways, you open it from file, and you click StageNet Tutorial, actually you create whatever you wanted there so I will do stage net one and then I open it like this and uh, yeah we're good but then we can receive so I need to actually receive some for my wallet and I don't care if you can see the address because it's a stage net wallet and I don't know what happened here but let me submit this really quickly <clears throat> amount sent 10 XMR so this is actually a good amount because if you're testing it if you need state net for testing purposes you probably need only one XMR because you're in the, in the real world you probably only need to 
you know, one XMR is good enough to test stuff on, out on. And our tutorial wallet's good, so we can exit here, and you can also get the wallet info like that. But you can exit here, and then you could probably get it here too. And uh, what else? So yeah, you can get Monero for the stage.wallet from here. You can use Monero.fail to get the, what's it called, the nodes. And you can create the wallet from your command line, or if it works for you, you can do it from the GUI as well. But I've shown both ways, and yeah. Let's just see one more thing, which is transactions pending. So there you go. You just get this and then you can use it. You can also copy the files over to somewhere else and then you could use it from the Monero Wallet RPC, which is what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> see you guys in the next video.